five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. city in the world it's the ramble with alex bennett and we're here until midnight eastern daylight time Mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen he's incarcerated (laughs) and his name is larry (laughs) bubbles brown america held hostage day number 31 yeah hot sausage yeah god (laughs) So I don't know who's locked down worse, uh, me or you, but I heard New York's pretty bad. Well, I um, I haven't gone out. Uh, I went out the other oh. day. Went out the other day. We went to get uh, we the local restaurant. We wanted to help them out, so we ordered out, and we got uh, we got uh, some food from him. And we had to walk up there to get it, of course. And uh, that was our, uh, that was that was me out for the first time in two weeks. Wow, that's incredible! I could, I'd be insane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you got a big place. That's well, I got a, we got a big place, and uh, if we get on each other's nerves at all, she can go into one room, I can go to another. You know. We've got uh, three comfortable rooms to watch television in. So, <clears throat> you know, but I'm getting sick of watching television. That's what I'm getting sick of. Yeah, you start to run out of things. <laughs> you know, it's getting, it's getting uh, uh, absolutely um, weird and ridiculous. So, I, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going a little, little batty here, you know, and... Uh, I always wait for the Grim Reaper to tap on my shoulder, you know, so. Um, but, you know, if you're not going out and, um, you know, you're careful about everything, I guess you're going to be okay. I mean, whenever we get a delivery and it comes in boxes, we spray the boxes down with disinfectant before we open them, mm-hmm. you know. And, um, you know, I mean, we have to order out. Like, I just ordered out to Costco. All right, because there's a delivery service that will go to Costco, shop for you, and then bring it to your house. Not for an insignificant charge, I might add. It's going to cost me about 40 bucks to do that, maybe 50. But um, I, at least I can get some of the things from Costco, like the large flats of soda and so on that, uh, that you know, that I usually buy. And I don't want to go over to Costco. I consider that a living Petri dish. You know? <laughs> so I don't go out there. Uh, and uh, so they're delivering me. So I ordered, uh, what was I ordered on, uh, I think it was Sunday? Maybe maybe Monday? Uh, yeah, Monday. But what's today? I don't even know what today is. Today's Tuesday. Yeah, I'm losing track of the day. Today is uh, Tuesday. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably play this on a day other than Tuesday so folks don't. But, you know, you lose all track of what day it is. Yeah. But I think I did this on Sunday, and the delivery day is for next Saturday. You know, uh, it's not like, I think, like you can no, get... No, and I think Amazon's... What's weeks behind now? Oh yeah, uh, certain things you want from Amazon you can get in a couple of days, and then others you can't. All right, uh, it's uh, it, you know it, they they have not been able to keep up. Plus, a lot of a lot of the uh, Amazon centers are out on strike, or people are refusing to come to work because they consider it unsafe working conditions. It's we're we're in the middle of this this, this it, it, every science fiction movie you ever saw about the end of the world. I know this is it, you know. I, it, w- some psychologists said that five weeks is about the most people can take like this before they start to snap. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm getting ready to start seeing crime in the streets. 
you know, people going batty. People, you know, mugging people for toilet paper. It's crap like that, you know. Yeah, and don't you think there's some uh, constitutional issues involving this? Like uh, the governor in Michigan says, oh, if you got a second home, you can't go the, to the home. And well, well, you know, I, I, I think that there are exceptions that can be made, but he would have to put the state under martial law, I think, in order to do that. But, you know, when he says that, people shouldn't get mad. People should abide by it. Because <clears throat> here in New York, the numbers are not the number of deaths, but the number of uh, intubations and uh, people entering into the hospitals has been diminishing rather, rather well. And that's because we've been staying indoors and because we've been distancing ourselves and because we've been wearing masks. You go out on the street now, when I was walking up and down the street going to go get the food the other day, which was my first time out, almost everybody was wearing masks. Almost everyone. I was jealous of some of them because they had nicer masks than I did. <laughs> because now, now, now you're going to start seeing fashion masks coming out, you know. Uh, part of beautif part of beautifying America. Part, Everyone has a mask. Yeah, right, right. And you know, I mean, the only thing that we've got going here in New York that we I, I say thank goodness for. And I was never a big fan of him, but Mario Cuomo has just been doing a fabulous job. I mean, every day he gives a speech, and every day it's it's got humanism in it, and it's got reality in it, and he doesn't. He doesn't, you know, gloss it over and say everything's going to be wonderful in a couple of weeks, folks. No, he's saying stay the course, stay in, because if, you know, things are getting a little bit better, but if tomorrow you decide that, well, okay, I guess it's okay for me to go outside now and, and, and not invoke close, uh, you know, distancing rules and things like that, he said it's coming right back. He said, so, you know, we've got to stay the, we've got to stay the course here. And he's very calming in that way, not because he, he's lying to you, but because you have the sense he's telling you the truth, because he's not sugarcoating any of the information. And, and that's what, uh, what a leader should do. Uh, and he's a, just an absolutely perfect leader. And that's, uh, that's okay, you know, so... Uh, I, I'm 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 very happy with uh, the way he's he's handling this. We look forward every day at 11:30. Marjorie says to me, "Is he on yet?" You know, really? Yeah. And then every night at six o'clock, we get the clown show. You know, <laughs> uh, which uh, now we're recording this. Eh, it doesn't matter when we're recording, but but he he did this this clown show in which he ran a video that he made showing how he had, how how he was okay, you know, how he was terrific. And it was a two-hour, what they said, coronavirus update is what they called it. And for all the two hours, he talked about him. Now, what kind of leadership is that, especially in a time of crisis, when you need a president who's going to make his... It isn't a matter of calming you down. It's making you feel that something's being done and that there's somebody at the helm who has a certain humanity about him whose heart is going out to the fact that so many people are dying. You know, And I, I get that every day from, from Cuomo. He comes from an Italian family to begin with, and they all wear their hearts on their sleeves, you know. Uh, but I mean, he just, he, it, it, we just, we're not getting the leadership in this country. We should be getting in something like this. And, and yes, he's doing a few things, but he's lying about most of them. And it's, it's just, it's, it's horrible. So that means that Larry Bubbles Brown has to stay at home. And let's now talk about your home for a moment. Let's describe what you've got there that is. It's more like a jail cell, isn't it? It's a jail cell, yeah. Yeah, how big? Wait. How, how <laughs> Wait. I'm waiting for them to shove the food under the uh, door. How many square feet is it? It's probably 500. 
500. Hmm. That's not bad. It's not great. I had a 650 square foot apartment downtown. And um, if I had to be there right now, I think after two weeks I'd be killing Marjorie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or she'd be uh, killing they me. They said that they think domestic violence and people beating their kids is going to yeah. be through the roof pretty soon. Now, I'm here in a 2,500 square foot apartment. And Which is huge. Yeah. And so if I'm going to be confined to an apartment, you know, if you're going to put the ankle bracelet on me, uh, here better than there, okay? Plus, yeah. now, let's let's look at this you know, a little further. Mr. Brown has never been into technology. No. So, therefore... Uh, I've, got, he, I've got no cable, no internet. <laughs> he's got no cable. He's got no well, internet. Got dial up. So, 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 what do you do with your day? Uh, well, I, I don't stay here. I go out. I do go out, so... You do go out. Where do you go? Yeah. I've been going to Marin a lot. Mm-hmm. Try to read and write. So. Yeah. Good now, to get it's good to get out in the light. So that's I think you need some sunshine, so you should get out a little. Yeah, well so you, you get in your car and you go out to yeah. Marin. And I run. So I'm still running. So. Do you have a face mask? No. No. I, mm. I think they're they're mandatory in LA. Yeah. And that they may become mandatory here. I don't know. But yeah. But that's another thing. Remember the first, you don't need a face mask. Now you do need a face mask. So you get so much conflicting information. What, and now, you're, you're going, well, the face masks are necessary because of the distancing thing. If, if let's say, the closest person to you is a block away, you don't need a mask. If he's even 24, 25 feet away, you don't need a mask. It's when people get closer that you need the mask, okay? And, and, and that's not only for your own good, but for the good of all the people around you as well. But now let me ask you, when you go to Marin, now let, let me explain Marin County to people who don't know what we're talking about. It's a county across the bay from San Francisco, and it's a rural community, all of it. I was raised there. Wealthy so, rural community. A wealthy rural community. When I was a kid, it was just a middle class rural community. <laughs> now, now you got to be very rich to live there. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, um, um, it, it, but you have a lot of space there. In other words, when you talk about social distancing, you're talking about like in New York, you've got a density of population. And so here it's very difficult. You go over to Marin, you could get out of your car and not see anybody for a block either way, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or what I suggest, what I was talking about the other night is I said, uh, what I would do is if I had a car, I'd get in the car and I'd go to the top of Mount Tamil Pius and hang out there in the grass up on a hillside somewhere. No, that, that's not going to kill you. No. You, you know? So doing what you're doing is probably it's fine. Is yeah. fine, and probably you will not go nuts in that little apartment. But now imagine that you didn't own a car. Then I'd be in trouble. You'd be in trouble. You'd be in trouble. Uh, but uh, you know, it, it, it's it's. Uh, it, I mean, every, everybody's social distancing anyway. But now you go. Okay, here's an example. You have to fill up your car with gas. You have to hold on to the pump and put the nozzle into the thing. How is how are they handling that? Uh, well, the way I've uh, the way I've always done it, and they said I'm right because the the two germiest surfaces they found were ATM keypads and gas pump handles. Oh, really? So what do you do? I've always every time I get gas, I've done this for years. I always get with the pull out a couple of the paper towels and uh, wrap those around the handle. Oh, okay. That, that's yeah. that's that uh, that that's a good way of handling it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're 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 right. They're apparently incredibly germy. Yeah. Well, that that was the thing that they were worried about, and uh, you know things t things that you touch. I when I go out now always wear rubber gloves. Okay. Two reasons. Number one, it keeps the germs away, and if I need to give myself a a, a prostate check, 
<laughs> yeah, I've got the I've got the glove. Or or give one give one to a friend too. Give one give one to a friend. One that you've used and already stuck up your ass. You know. Well, the great thing the great thing about this, and Fauci said this yesterday. He's mm. this might which I can't I can't stand. You know I can't stand doing this. They said this actually might end the handshake. The, yeah. Well, you never like the handshake anyway, right? No, uh, no. Uh-uh. Hey, listen. Guess what? We've already run out of time. <laughs> but not germs. We do these little shorter ones, and they're terse, and they're whatever. And, but I just want you to remain safe, and it sounds like you're doing that, and you're certainly not going to get terribly uh, in terrible shape by going to Marin in your car and then going somewhere where there's nobody. Yeah, well, let's hope they don't outlaw that. And get a lot of sun. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm just I'm trying to I was trying to get something going here and I'm having trouble bringing it up. It's my screen with oh there we go. There we go. All right. Because I we have to look at our we have to look at our map uh, every night here. Uh, you know. See how many people are dead, how many people are going away. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me also, uh, I'll tell you, that's, uh, that's uh, kind of cutting off there on the side. So I don't like that. I don't like that at all. No. Oops. Let me see here. Let me just uh, do this and bring this over just a tad. And then bring this down just a tad. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this so that it looks better, so you can see the whole damn thing. There we go. I think we're fine now. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Here we go. Look at that. There's the world. Two point six million people dead. Almost two point seven. It's getting there. They were 2.626929. Let's look at the United States because that's what we that's what we really care about, right? Because we're so selfish, we only think about ourselves. By the way, look at this number of people dead up here. Uh, yes, look at that. Oh, oh, you can see my arrow. Okay, good. Uh, that's 183,283 people dead. No longer on the face of the earth. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Mm-hmm. You know why? Because we have allergies going on here. I mean, as though the virus isn't enough, we've got the allergies. And I, uh, I am a... Uh, hold on, i got to turn off my mic. <laughs> Look at the map while I'm sneezing, okay? All right. Anyway. Oh, boy. Ah. Uh, Anyway, let's go to the U.S. here and see what we're doing here. Uh, we have 840,897 people who have been diagnosed to have the coronavirus. That doesn't mean that we don't have over a million. We just These are just the people we've been able to test and find out about. Now, in New York City, okay, the, the amount of people dead is, ready for this, in New York City, 15,074. That's a lot of people. However, our number has gone down. Now, let me show you another number I just found today. This is a whole bunch of stuff uh, about the New York, about New York City, all right? And look at this. See how this started? That started all the way down over here, okay? All right? And, and then it went all the way up there and peaked at 543 in one day. Now, this is in New York City. This is not in the environs. This is not in all of New York. In all of New York today, the death was something like 430. I'm trying to remember exactly the number, but it's going down. It's still going down. 
But here in New York City, it has started going down and going down. This is the death rate in New York City. And what I found here, and I don't know if this is true, uh, the day before it was 96. Now, this may just be too current a number, and they haven't ad adapted it and uh, whatever, but if this is true, uh, in New York City, we have only nine people that died yesterday. Now, I don't know that that's true, but nevertheless, look, look at the way this thing has just gone down, 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 and that is all from staying indoors, folks. Now, here's the rates by borough. Now, you see, I know a lot of you around the country don't care about this, but I do because I live here, you know. And the rate per 100,000 people, you ready for this? This is very, very interesting, okay? This is a very interesting number. Uh, the, um, the Bronx uh, has uh, 2,115 people per 100,000 people, okay? Their total count... 31,130. These are people who've gotten the coronavirus. Staten Island, 10,405. Queens, which is kind of now considered to be the epicenter. In fact, Corona Queens, oddly enough. Um, uh, it, it is, uh, let me see here, uh, 42,637. Then we have Brooklyn. That's with uh, 36,699. Manhattan has only had 17,495, and you would think we'd be worse because it's the most dense place. Now, here's the part that depresses me. You know, I happen to be 80 years old, okay? All right? Relate, rates by age. First of all, cases here, uh, here, we go up a little bit here, 46 to 64, 45 to 64, then 65 to 74 years old. Look at 75 years and older. It's, uh, let's see here, 877.95, uh, that's deaths, all right? Look at the, look at the difference. We had uh, 109, 45 to 64, uh, 65 to 74, 353, and there's me, 877 deaths in New York. Uh, these are also like the cases, okay, by age. For those of you who are not just listening to us but watching us, these are hospitalizations, okay? Uh, so 75 and older, there we are, man. It's like, like God's got a gun at my head, all right? And then we go with to rates by sex, uh, cases, uh, uh, female, men far outweigh women in, hospital, in cases, in hospitalizations, men outweigh women, and in deaths, men way outweigh women. So uh, if you're a man, like I am, and you're 65 years or older, and you live in the Bronx, and, well, you get it. But this is, this is, the, this is the number that's really good. This is the number. It's going down. It's going down. We're, and this is, this is just for Manhattan, okay? Uh, for New York, rather. Uh, that's why I talk about Bronx, Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, and Manhattan. Those are the boroughs of New York City. Okay, that's what uh, that's what it's all about, folks. That's our uh, that's our report for tonight. Uh, and uh, I hope that wherever you are, uh, you're staying safe. Okay. Um, anyway, it's time for us to go talk to our citizen panel. And uh, oh boy, I. I just have the allergies. They've just been, uh, today was like 11.3 or something out of 12 for the for, for the whole thing. So anyway, where are we? Uh, let me see here. Let me turn on the Skype. Uh, we use Skype here. We, we don't use uh, Zoom. We can't use Zoom, really. I've, I've, I've played around with Zoom. I was on a Zoom call with about 20 other people the other day, and I tried recording it, and there was no way I could do the citizen panel using Zoom. Uh, it would just be too unwieldy. I'm waiting forever for Skype, though, to come up. Don't make me a big liar, Skype. There we go. Skype is coming up. Come on, Skype. Are you going to? There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. It finally decided to get going here. 
And um, let's see here. Uh, also, the uh, the line is on. So if, if you're looking, you can actually see that I'm there. And you can give me a call. And uh, here, oh, wait a minute. That was Vernon. Then he, oh, boy. I thought they were having the same trouble I was having last night. The other night. Let me see here. Here comes, oh, there comes Jeff Zeller. Let me see what's happening here with the other people. Phil Meyer, can I bring Phil in? There we go, Phil, are you in? No? Uh, yeah, Phil is in, and uh, let's see here. Um, Rob Alfano, I'm gonna click on him. We'll see if uh, he comes up. I was having some trouble again tonight, I don't know why. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Vernon. There we go with Vernon Nunn. And uh, I think those were all the people. Now I got to give them all a place on the uh, citizen panel. Uh, first of all, uh, let me. Oh, here we go. Brian Neary. He's calling. So he was in one space last night up there. So if he comes on, yeah, he'll come in there. So I got to put somebody in the number two spot. Uh, which will, well, we'll put, I think Charlie Wallace was in there somewhere. Uh, cancel, let me see here. Uh, all right, now, hold on a second. I got to get these people in there. Why aren't these people coming up? Their pictures there. There's Charlie's. Uh, turn, uh, 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 oh, Neary, are you there? Yes. Uh, yeah, I got my camera Okay, down. okay, now your camera's on. Okay, now I got to go here and figure out who I haven't put on here yet. Vernon was on last night. He's there. Uh, uh, Jeff is there from last night. Uh, do we have anybody else? Oh, and I need to put Todd in there. So I'll put him in the number four spot. God, I'm glad all the same people called who called last night because it makes my life easier. Todd Moore. We have nothing else to do. Right, you have nothing. You know, once, <laughs> once, once this whole thing is over and you people are going to have to go back to work and not work from home and everything, <laughs> my life is going to be gone. terrible with this show. <laughs> Uh, I'll be sitting here with my finger up my ass saying, nobody's calling me anymore. You know. <laughs> Hello, Rob. Hello, Vernon. Hello, Brian. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Phil. Hello, Jeff. I think I said everybody's name. How are you all? How are you all this evening? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty all good. right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Be good. Yeah, yeah. So we're 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 still getting along here, you know, the numbers are going down. Uh the uh it, staying in seems to be working. Um so we'll see what happens. Let's know. go to Vegas. Yeah, let's go to Vegas. They're thinking of opening up Vegas again, I heard somewhere. Yeah. Are they going yeah. to are they going to or are they just talking about it? She's talking about it, but she doesn't know what she's <laughs> talking about. Yeah, she, she she wants the casinos. She wants the casinos to deal with the social distancing. Didn't some governor on some show, and I think it was the governor of Texas, say huh. he would rather see the thing, everything, be back in business and the economy start rolling, even if it means some dead people? Yeah, that was that lieutenant governor. The, sure, what's a few dead people? Was was that a lieutenant governor? Yeah. Yes. Dan wow. Patrick. Wow, that that was that's uh, his, his the 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 thing that I heard that he had said was, well, what's this going to do to future generations if we don't put the, everybody back to work now? So if it, that means we have to have a few dead people, so be it. Is this guy him first? Huh? Yeah. I said him first. I don't see him out there volunteering for the, with the hospitals. And yeah, exactly, exactly. Hello, Rob. Hello, Vernon. Hello, Phil. How are you tonight? Yeah. Good. Oh, you're just waving? Well, I've got a Kentucky update. Oh, you have a Kentucky? Oh, yes, I saw you sent me something about Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as of this afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, Kentucky has done a little over 36,000 tests of those tests 3373 have yielded positive results and 185 people have died so far and they're going to reopen right no no okay no. good we got a democratic no. governor. we got a democratic governor in Kentucky but in Tennessee Ohio and Indiana 
there are Republican governors, and their death rates are much higher than ours. I don't understand. Oh. Phil, answer me this question. Why does sure. it matter whether you're a Republican or a Democrat on what side of the issue of reopening these places you're on i mean is, is this it can't possibly be that I, I i don't i don't think it matters uh you know i know uh, there's a number of people in my association that are staunch liberals and they want uh, to reopen uh in in a in a manner that is safe you know you need to clean the surfaces uh you need to not go to work if you're sick uh, you need to uh, ask people if they're okay. You need to wear masks and PPE. Uh, and you need to, you know, fairly distance yourself mm -hmm. uh, from the other people. Now, there are some businesses that you really can't do that. Uh, I don't think bars should be open too quickly. Uh, I don't think, uh, I think restaurants have to modify. And uh, I don't think it's a uh, blue and red thing. Although I, I was wondering if what they were testing in Kentucky, Vernon, was how many Kentuckians have teeth. <laughs> uh, let, me, let me go to Charlie. He's got his hand up. Yes, Charlie. Right. Yeah, the problem with not going to work if you're sick is you could be spreading the disease for 14 days, up to 14 days before you get sick. Yeah, so well, you got to do something better than just wait till you get sick and stay home from work. Yeah, if you're wearing a mask... Uh, as a preventative, and and you're not touching surfaces that other people touch okay. because you have gloves on. Okay. Uh, you know, are you going to spread the virus? Uh, you know, unless you take the mask off and you talk to someone and spittle comes out. Uh, you know, then Todd, then I'll I go. Todd, that. I'll go to you in a second, Todd. Hold on one second. The only answer I have to that, Phil, is you know human nature, and who are you going to leave this up to? The, the store owners. To do all this, and how do we know they've I, done it? How do we? Everybody. That's probably the difference between blue and red, is that uh, the red believe that it is up to individuals, and uh, mm -hmm. they and they need to step let, up. Let me let me put, right. let me put it this way, Phil. You, 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 your life is on the line because you are you are compromised. Uh, Check every physically. Place. But what I'm saying is. Do you really want to trust that somebody who has a store that you go into, okay, has done everything possible and, and uh, that I you're know, going to be able to go in there safely? But let me say this. I go into restaurants to get a sandwich to go mm -hmm. or, or something like that now. Uh, I'm going to the supermarkets okay. to buy food. I'm going to the gas station. Uh, I'm, I'm going to a number of places. What Auto repair shops. I'm already doing that. You keep uh, breaking up on us. Can Phil. I just uh, interrupt for a second? Yeah. Because yeah. Phil's getting sh um, blocked out, I think, because somebody's mic is blowing air or something like I that. And Phil, no, I don't think. Oh, is it yours? If it was yours, then I don't think you'd be getting blocked out. Uh, no, I, I, I haven't uh, created a, a something I have to do. A mix okay. minus. See, now he's fine. Things. Now he's fine. Yeah, that yeah. Was, I had a I have a big fan. It was hot in here. Yeah. Um, so thanks for pointing that okay. out, Rob. Uh, so you know, I'm yeah. already going into stores, and you know, there there are certain right. things. I mean, I don't go to bars anyway. You know, so if uh, but, but it's, all it's, it's uh, not Phil, a, that's not that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, your life is in the hands of somebody else doing what's right, and 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 how much do you trust that? That's the point. Let me go to Todd because wait a minute, Todd. Todd has had his hand up, and I want to have Todd talk. Yes, Todd. All right. All right. Hello. Can you guys hear me? I'm using my computer instead of my phone. Oh, okay. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Because hopefully, fine. I look different this time. You look fine. But anyway. Okay. Anyway. You look fine. All right. Okay, Phil. Thank you, my brother. All right. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. I got news for all of you. I have a friend of mine that um, is in um, D.C. She is a nurse, and she came down with the coronavirus. She is a very good friend of mine, and yet her husband is uh, all um, in a whole bunch of things where um, he needs to um, uh, have, um, what's the word I'm looking for, dialysis. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, he's blind now. So 
her job, okay, will not hi- uh, let her do anything. Will not give her any money or anything like that. And on top of that, that the well, I hopefully they're not listening because I I didn't I really didn't ask permission to be saying it. Yeah. But um the the um the the mother of my man, you know what I mean, that's blind now, won't even come around because his um um uh, son's daughter came through with the, the, the well, you know, with the, the virus, you know what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. And that she wouldn't even come around there to take care of her son. Mm-hmm. So now while she's got to deal with the virus, mm-hmm. she's got to drop her husband over for di- dialysis mm-hmm. and got to go do some other stuff. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Why isn't and, he and she's not getting no money for to, from a job that won't pay her nothing. Why isn't uh, he in the hospital if he has dialysis? It needs dialysis, and she. He's been uh, he's been like that for he been that he been out there for a while, bro. No, I understand. I understand. She mm-hmm. can't take him. If she takes him, she's compromising other people. Well, I, I agree with what you're saying, Phil, but I do not know if she's contagious. See, what I know is that she had to go get. That 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 Quarquin or whatever the hell it's called that Trump was talking about, and I Brian, was like, oh snap! And she's still alive. Brian, do you know if somebody that is got the virus is contagious, or uh, they aren't contagious until they start, you know, puking up and stuff? <clears throat> no idea. Right. Oh, oh, it looks like Jeff might know. Yeah, so, Jeff. Really, I know a little bit about dialysis. Yeah. Thank you. Because my dad had dialysis. And this is a kind of disease that you never get rid of. You got it for the rest of your life until you die. And, and you're going to die early. Of, it's part of diabetes? No. No, yeah. no, no, no that it's, 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 special... it's, it's a loss of uh, kidney. kidney oh, yeah. Diabetes kills off the kidney. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. yes. Well, that's one, that's one of the get, ways. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Kathleen, t- turn on your turn on your camera, will you, please? Are you there? What any, usually, people who have dialysis have to go in to a special place three times a week. Right. And during the time, they're often there for three hours, four hours, mm-hmm. where their blood is being cleaned out. If you want to call it. It's not a good life. I ain't gonna tell you. No, and at the end, wife, of the day, living. you're it's wiped what, out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, 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 Rob says that's what his wife does for a living. Yeah, okay. she's the dialysis technician, and right. it's. I mean, she's losing patients all the time. Well, of course. People who come in three, four times a week, they sit there so at what, that machine. So, what was the point you were trying to make, Phil? Uh, that uh, that uh, Todd's uh, friends. Uh, wife who is taking him, uh, uh, his, uh, the husband, to dialysis is exposing other patients and the dialysis workers to the virus. And is there some other way that uh, this man can get uh, the services he needs without causing the wife to uh, expose other people to her uh, virus? Well, first of all, they're, they're not letting any, in where my wife works, you yeah. go in, you, they meet you at the car, they do a temperature on you, and wow. then no family members can go in, just mm-hmm. the person can go in and get their treatment and leave. And it would be a disservice just driving, even if you don't get out of the car, it would be, you would be exposing that person to the virus just by being near them, and they're right. highly susceptible. In the same car, so that that's why I was just asking is there another way that uh, your friend's husband can get there or maybe go into a hospital so that his wife doesn't have to uh, infect everybody else we don't know that she isn't doing something like that uh, well yeah, she's, she's not getting him. in to infect everybody else believe me they're not letting no. her in and if, if she's if she's a, if, if she's a nurse we'll it- she probably knows what she's doing in that respect and she's probably uh, taking the precautions 
I don't know. Todd's got his hand yes, up. Yes, Todd. Well, I'm trying to answer that question. Well, um, she is taking a whole lot of precautions. Um, I'm new to using the computer instead of the phone, so you know, I guess I'm really not old. But then again, I'm 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 young, but I'm old with the technology, so I apologize. Okay. Anyway, but um, yeah, um, you know, she she's taking all the precautions and everything like that. But at the same time, you know, um, she has to do what she has to do because the family and everybody else and, and her job and nobody is helping. That's what I was trying to explain yeah. in the beginning. But I was letting all y'all talk because, you know, yeah. I, I didn't know if anybody heard everything, you yeah. know, what I was trying to say. Hey, Brian, is there a new test out that you could administer yourself and get uh, uh, results right away? I heard... Uh, no, there's I one you can take at home that they're coming out with, but then you have to send it in somewhere, and it's two days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every test you still have to send in, okay. unless your point of care. If your point of care, then that's different. But Theranos tried that, right? Theranos tried to have the home, the home box you could bring. Yeah, you know, and yeah. they they failed. Who is Theranos? Yes. Charlie. Yeah. yeah. So. so oh, wait a minute. Well, go ahead, Brian. Finish and then Charlie. Oh, no. So I just had one question, uh, maybe for uh, Vernon. So you're at Home Depot. I think one of the, our biggest challenges we have at our work, we have hundreds of people working during the day. We're giving out free food for lunches. So we're, you know, trying to, you know, give some back to the employees. But like break times, I mean, you know, people have two breaks and then they have their lunch break. And, you know, you're in, you know, we have a cafeteria and now we're trying to spread everything apart. We have some conference rooms. We're trying to do that. So how did they do that at Home Depot? Because I know... You know, when you guys say you're risking, you when you go to the, you know, you see everybody at the store, you know, either masked up or with gloves and all stuff, but break times and stuff, everybody gets back together and there's a big risk there. Well, what we're doing at my store is we are social distancing at the tables and there's also a training room adjacent to the lunch break room and some people will go in there where they can sit farther apart and uh, and eat their lunch. You're right. I, I wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, yeah, microwaves are there, and I wear gloves and I wear a mask when I'm out on the floor. However, like you said, when I go to the break room, I take off the mask and I take off my gloves. Yeah. But when I do that, when I do that, after I take off my gloves, then I'll I'll wash my hands thoroughly or douse it with uh, the um, hand sanitizer, rinse them off, pat them dry with some paper towels before I'll eat my food. Now, going back to what I was saying about Kentucky. Um, one of the reasons I think that Kentucky's rates are so much lower than the surrounding states is that we reacted earlier than those states did in terms of stay-at-home <laughs> orders. And and the other thing is, even yeah. though we've, we've tested over 36,000 tests in the state of Kentucky, that's less than 1% of the population. And if we go back to work, if they lift that stay-at-home order, there's going to be more and more interactions, and there will have to be more and more tests in order to keep this from giving us another hit. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Charlie has his hand up. Yes, Charlie. Yeah. Hello, Bree. Yeah, I just want to make sure that, that uh, Phil asked earlier, do we know if people are, are spreading the disease without having symptoms? And we do know for a fact, yes, up to 14 <coughs> days you can be spreading the disease before you show symptoms. Some people only a couple of days. But it can be as much as 14 days. We've known that for months. Brian, am, am I right? before it got to the U.S. Would I be that. wrong in saying this, Brian, that you can actually get it, have, be asymptomatic, and then mm -hmm. resolve without even knowing you would resolve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's one thing that they're really interested in trying to get data from mm -hmm. to see how many people actually had that and didn't have symptoms. Right. Hey, Brian. The first person to have the coronavirus, they're saying, was in Santa Clara yeah. County. Yeah. And yeah. it was February 6th. Right over there. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, I'm in yeah. Santa Clara County, but yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah that, uh, no, that and it, it was the first person to die yeah, from one. it. The, the, yeah. It was the first person <laughs> to die from it. The, the, person, the yeah. first person that got it in Seattle did not die from it. They gave him mm -hmm. Redizavir or whatever that is, and he survived. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Our first case was January twentieth in the U.S. Yeah. yeah. So. Yep. It's been a pretty fast rise, hasn't it? You know. 
I mean, did you? It, it's amazing because I look at the at the at the graph that I was showing earlier here, and it just goes straight up, and then it's going straight down now. Yes, Charlie. Yes, Charlie. Yeah. Another thing is that you know I keep hearing a lot of these conservatives talking about the flu and how it kills sixty thousand people a, a year or something like that. Well, you have to realize that this coronavirus right now, the rate it's killing people is more than sixty thousand people per month. It's much worse than the flu ever was. I mean, we have almost a million people dying. We're killing, there are 2,500 people in the United States alone dying every day. Do the math. Well, That's 75,000 people a month. I got my paperwork today to uh, get the 52,000, so I signed it and sent it back. Well, what does that have to do with what we were just this, saying? Well, I'll get funded in three or four days. Yeah. Now, uh, next month, instead of the virus, I want locusts, and maybe they'll have another PPP program. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, it, it, yeah, the, the, these uh, these idiots who keep saying, "Oh, more flu kills more people every year than this thing does." I got news <laughs> for you: not even close. Not even close. And worldwide, when you look at that number, what did I see again? Was the number that I that I that I put out uh, worldwide? I gotta re redo this so I can get the, the worldwide total. 180,000. Dead, oh dead. Yeah. Okay. Dead from this flu. Okay. Uh, 183,000. Okay. I think that's more than die of the flu every year. Okay. And uh, uh, the percentages are quite uh, much higher too. Bree, I, I wanted to hear from you because I last night on the Jack show, you were saying that you felt that we were handling it all wrong. Um, well, I guess my question is, what is the plan in the U.S.? Because, you know, there is no I still plan. don't get a sense of a plan. There are 50 I, plans. Trump doesn't have a plan. Yeah, well, you, you can't. You know, unfortunately, with this, if, you know, if you look at it from, you know, one room to another, let's say that I have my plan is to stay in my room, but my family members are not following that plan and they're walking around and coming in, mm -hmm. then it's no plan, mm -hmm. you know. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, other and other, unless the states are able to secure all their borders and, you know, I, I, I don't know. I see every uh, day when I log into YouTube, I see the um, you know, White House briefing, one hour, 47 minutes, White House briefing, two hours, White House briefing. And I just but but I don't I don't watch them. I just see them piling up there. And then I just see the numbers going up, up, up. And, oh, there's a new hotspot here. Oh, we didn't know that. Oh, we got to report this. It doesn't seem like there's any plan. It just seems like it's totally you, you, out. You know, uh, what, you know what's, inter Wild West. what's interesting, Bree, if you get a chance and if it's possible for you, watch, uh, watch Cuomo's briefings. They're about 45 minutes, and in that 45 minutes, he packs into the more information. You get more scientific information uh, and, and, and a knowledge of how these things spread more than you'll ever watch in those two and a half tirades that go on every day that are more political rallies than they are coronas, coronavirus updates. Yes, Brian. It, it's funny because I think I mentioned this before is Cuomo's looks like a business. You know, he goes through the charts. He talks about the data. He has he has stuff like don't be stupid or whatever he said today, you know, and he has those up on the board for everybody to read and listen to him mm -hmm. where you have Trump, who's a businessman, and he just doesn't doesn't take this, I guess, into that business okay. kind of mode where we, we like seeing that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Bree. So 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 what is the plan from, from if you're in New York? And you don't have any income, and you have you don't, and you have rent due, and you you're running out of food. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? Mm -hmm. Wear a mask, get a gun. Because mm -hmm. yeah, this, I mean, seriously, this is. I, I think what's happening right now is it's kind of like climate change in a way. People are not putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. Yeah. We're sort of yeah. we're just dealing with what we have to deal with right now. But what Aren't people don't read. Aren't they paying unemployment and a uh, and some other thing? 
even if you're don't qualify for unemployment, you you apply, they say, and then when you're turned down, you automatically go over to a different screen, which is for the coronavirus unemployment. And uh, I think they give you 450 from the state and 600 from the Fed weekly. So my question uh, is, Phil, how long is that? Where, where, where's the state going to get the money? Uh, well, part of this. Uh, recent where PPE, are the states going to get their part of the money? Well, the, the same way they'll borrow it just like uh, everybody else oh, does. Oh, no. They they, no, they can't print they it up, can't. Phil. They can't well, print it up like not Trump is. It, they can Trump, is it. Trump is putting the it on the... states cannot operate like that. No, I, 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 you, I heard they could we're borrow not, it. We're not putting the pieces together. No one is seeing the big yep. picture of, right. the, of, of, you know, it's just it's a major collapse. And at some point... You know, Cuomo's there reading numbers and saying, and this is a, he's kind of like MASH, you know, on, uh, on the front line there, but he's not looking at the overall war. And the overall picture is really dismal, and we need le we need we need some we need some leadership, uh, and we need them to be coordinating. And I don't see it happening. Yeah. States have to get the money from the feds. Well, that's part of the thing that, that Cuomo told Trump yesterday is that they're giving out all this money, but they're not giving any money to the states. And the states Correct. are the ones who are now putting out all the money for the testing and the this and the that. And then on top of that, they got to pay the police and they got to pay the fire department and they got to pay the, you know, the infrastructure. And they don't have that money. So what happens? The towns are, start, the towns are starting to release, you know, release their people. Uh, locally now because they're starting to dig into their budgets locally mm -hmm. and they're, also they're i don't know who sales. it was i don't know who it was who said it but some oh, oh yes it was uh, uh mitch i think it was mitch mcconnell who said well the state should then declare bankruptcy mm. and then <laughs> what uh, yeah. that's his solution folks i didn't, I didn't hear that. well i well I, I, yeah. just because you didn't hear it doesn't mean he didn't yeah. say it oh well, that's you've been your, I heard it. I heard it. So I heard, you know, you, you talk about what you hear. And if you're listening to conservative media versus liberal media, if you want to look at it that way, mm -hmm. some of the things you hear on conservative media, for example, Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh said, I don't know why everybody why this is such a big deal. This is COVID-19. We've had 18 prior to this. Oh, this is not so out of the way. Yeah. Conway said the same thing. I mean, are you yeah. fucking kidding me? Not COVID-1, yeah. They don't understand that it's 2019. Yeah. They don't I, listen to science. To think, so what? where you hear things. Well, they're, they're, I think they were trying to say that we should have been more prepared for COVID-19 because there was 18 prior no, to it. You're, that, now, you're doing what people, now you're doing what people do about Trump, trying to explain stupidity. You're not going to explain a base. Today, today, today I was listening. Today I was listening to Trump's little... We, we watch him until we can't bear it anymore, and then we go over to the news. And um, uh, he it's amazing how he one day says something and then the next day completely contradicts it. All of a sudden, uh, he, oh, yes, I always knew this was a problem, and I always knew. He didn't even, he was saying, oh, this is, oh, he well, said take, today, I know what he said today. He said, you got to realize, uh, you know, something I've known for a long time, this is, this is not like the, com this is not the common flu. This is a very <laughs> special kind of flu. And then I suddenly remember him saying, that, oh, well, this flu is no different than any other flu. Yeah. It's going to go away in April. It's going to go away in <laughs> April. <laughs> Once oh, yeah, the warm so weather the gets problem. here. The miracle, you missed the miracle. There, there's no problem. This is like the cold or the, you know, that's all it is. Yeah, it's yeah. common yeah. cold, folks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talking about? you can keep taking uh, uh, sound bites from, from months no, earlier. These are things he as, said, from, Phil. I'm these ready. are things he when said. New, these are tweets he makes. Yeah. These are can actual I, things that are on the record, Phil. You want to He's talk about them? Or let me finish my statement. You're gonna, you're you're gonna you're, you know, because you're gonna try and defend the indefensible. The difference. That's my that's my position. But well, uh, it's a stupid see, one. 
well, you learn new things every day, and sometimes your opinion from two months ago mm -hmm. changes. Well, so you then, can't uh, oh, can he change? That, can he change open. his opinion about uh, what was that drug uh, that uh, he was touting? Uh, yeah, hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine uh, that, that has killed several people because of his saying, "Hey, this looks like it's a good idea. Couldn't hurt." That was his. That was the term he used in his press conference. Couldn't hurt. What do you got to lose? He said, "What do you got to lose?" There are more uh, studies, including the French study, that shows that the doses. Uh, uh, with obese people and diabetic people uh, are required okay, different Phil, doses. Phil, let's say, I, I, I don't know that that's true or not true, but let's say, let's say it is true for a moment. Trump is not uh, a doctor. He doesn't know that. And for people who hear him say it, they could be an obese person and go take the pill. Have you ever believed anything that Trump said? No, no but, but you have. And, 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 and so... Doc Doctors okay. prescribed. This all stuff. right, all right, because your boy says it was great. Okay. If if you if you get if you were to get uh, COVID, would you take mm -hmm. that? Possibly, if my doctor prescribed it, and I trust my doctor, uh -huh. even though he's with Kaiser. You know. Uh, oh well, that's a reason. Uh, that's a, not a reason to trust him. <laughs> well, you know the the thing is, uh, it, it's it's going to be up to the doctor whether or not he gives me the drug or not. It's like, not something like, I can just go down to the store and say, "Give me, uh, give me a zith like, It's like and, it's, and, and it's like uh, it's like it's like it's like um, uh, Larry Bubbles Brown says. You know, Kaiser is doctor assisted suicide. Anyway, uh, yes, uh, uh, Brian, and then uh, uh, then uh, Bree, yes. So, so he talked about Georgia today. So Georgia, in a couple of days, they're going to open up tattoo parlors, uh, nails, hair, and all that stuff. And he sat there today and said that, I told the governor I completely disagree with him opening up in a few days. But then he goes back and says, if there are any mayors that are going you know, and doing some crazy stuff, I will step in and stop it. But I totally disagree with what Georgia is doing, and I told him that several times. But they're going to open in a couple of days. The tattoo parlors, he repeated that whole phrase two times yeah so i got i don't know why he's not stepping in there and telling georgia they cannot do that i gotta get my nails done i'm going to georgia he doesn't Bree. have the power yes he, he doesn't have the power Bree. he doesn't have yeah Bree. well i just wanted to share a new word that i learned uh today it's called mm -hmm. ultra crepidarian and it is a person who offers opinions beyond their own knowledge uh mm -hmm. you sentence <laughs> I posted it on the chat on YouTube so you can see it. Well, in Trump's case, it's crapidarian, but you know, <laughs> you know. I mean, I, I just, I, you know, it's things like that that just drive me insane. And then how he just pedals back. I mean, and people will ask him questions. To say, to, a week ago you said blah blah blah, but now you're saying blah blah blah, and then he does some kind of like word salad. And then he immediately goes, and now you, you ask me a question, and just avoids that reporter because if that reporter follows up on the question, he's in big trouble. And he's sounds doing, like a talk show host. He's doing the top. Uh, it, it, Phil, it, we're having a discussion here that the, 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 the joke doesn't even play. Okay. Uh, uh, hey. This man, this man is killing people and has killed people by his inaction. Yes, Todd. Let me go to Todd. Yes, Todd. I just was curious. Was Phil acting up? Was <laughs> <laughs> Phil acting up? Yeah, you're going to go pimp slap yeah, him for me, here, please? Phil. Okay, I'm backing up Alex, my man, Bennett. You, know, you behave yourself, young uh, man. And I'm going to back uh, off here. Stop well, it. Stop it, sir. Stop it. Stop it. Don't it. pass. What? What did you Don't say? Don't don't what? What did he say? He said, "Don't kiss his ass." No, I'm never do that. I'm asking you not to be. I'm asking you to be a nice person. I was a nice person. I just told it like it is, kind of the way. Uh, every I heard since I've not been on around here, I've been watching old tapes. You've been a real mean son of a gun. Now you behave yourself, sir. Do not make me come to your house. And I will take your bullet from you. Stop uh, it. I'll tell you something. I'll tell Stop you something. What Something that happened today was, uh, uh, I think it was Scarfy was up there. I call her Scarfy. I can't remember what her name is now. But the woman who always wears this. 
Bricks. Dr. Bricks. Yes, Dr. Scarfy. Dr. Yep. Scarfy. And and she um, she was giving some kind of information, and Trump didn't agree with the information, so he was trying to jump in and give his version of what she was saying, but that wasn't what she was saying, and she kept to, trying to retry to say it, and he did anybody see this going on? And he just kept yeah. going, but it's really blah, 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 right? You know, and he, he can't, you know, today, well, when was it? Cuomo at least once a day goes, hey, if you want to blame me, then blame me. It's my fault. The buck stops here, okay? He goes, you know, he says, uh, if you think I'm full of it, I, I am. Or, or yesterday I said something, but I shouldn't have said that because I was, I was mistaken when I said it. He admits to mistakes, okay? And we That's all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and we can all be forgiven for making mistakes. But to Trump deny your it. mistakes and to know your mistakes and to den then deny them is, in this particular case, criminal, okay? That's a leader. That's a leader. Yeah, that's the a definition leader. of a sociopath. I yeah. think that yes, a, a, absolutely. A, 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 let, a, listen to Vernon. What did Vernon just say, Phil? The definition of a sociopath. Yeah. Uh, I it's think it's all the, about him. He doesn't if, care about anything else except himself. Well, you have that's the definition have, yeah. of a sociopath, and how you could take the advice or how you could back that's up true. a man who is a sociopath by definition is Phil, beyond me. Sociopath. You want to repeat it one more time, Vernon? What? What is he? What? A, so, a sociopath? Look, he's a if, sociopath. If five, six times now. Hey, if okay. Trump, if Trump admitted to something, it's like giving him rope and letting him hang himself because the media would jump on it immediately. And if he, if he retracted or admitted he was wrong, uh, if you had a fair media, you wouldn't have this kind of behavior. But he can't. If you didn't have Fox News, you wouldn't get the kind of crap you're getting out of him. That's, I, yeah. that's Fox, truth, he repeats everything Fox News says. If I didn't have Fox News, I wouldn't know the truth. Fox had a walk back oh. coronavirus. Yeah. Fox yeah. walked back coronavirus. If you watch their broadcasts, it's all over the place. Watch their broadcasts from March you, and February. Short time. Uh, what about uh, our friend Nancy Pelosi, who was in Chinatown, saying that there's nothing to worry about, it's just a cold? Uh, when was that? that oh, uh, there is video of Nancy Pelosi well, back I'm in... I'm asking you when that was. She, she, she didn't say anyway. that. She has simply been accused by of going I to... Said. Uh, the, it, and she said that... Yes! No, she didn't. No, she, no, she didn't, Phil. Phil. No, she yes. did not, Phil. Find me, find me the video, find and the I will go look at it, it later. Uh, it. Next time I'll send it to you. Uh, well, don't uh, send I'll... it to me now because I'm doing no. a show. But Feel send it to me later, and I want to hear her yeah. saying that. But what she's accused of is going to Chinatown when this whole thing was starting to happen in February. What? And I looked right. at Mar Mar Marjorie, and I said... I'm from San Francisco. I know what Chinatown is. It's not like it's China, okay? You know, you go there on the, the Chinese New Year, and you, as a as your, the local representative, the congresswoman from the area, you go and wave to everybody and say, "Hey, how are you?" And everything's you know, have a good time. That's what you do. But it doesn't. It, 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 that isn't where the virus suddenly spread was from Chinatown in San Francisco. But she was telling you not to social distance and to go and get into the crowd. I want to see the tape. Uh, I want to see it. Okay, I'll send you the tape. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Bree. We can have fun. We can talk, and I'm glad we have these sessions. Doesn't matter. The virus doesn't matter. It's not concerned with what we say. The numbers are going up, and more people are dying. Mm -hmm. And until that stops, we're going to keep having these discussions or debates. And, and, and the thing is, is that I don't even know if a vaccine, you know, is possible. Um, it, it just seems like from, from right now, it's just going to continue on and on until everything collapses. Bree, um, are the I numbers don't... going up everywhere? Uh, Bree, are, are the yes. numbers going up everywhere? Uh, in the United no, States, no. yes, it is going up in a lot of places where previously has not been going up 
this much. They're, they're we're where they're, we're going down now. We're we're now not the canary in the coal mine. We were the canary in the coal mine, but now you go down to where there really are coal mines, and it's it's rising, Phil. It's going up. What? West Virginia, Georgia, uh, South Dakota, and one other state was talking about opening up uh, to uh, you know businesses and so forth mm -hmm. because they they had some uh, some cases. Uh, most of them were in uh, assisted care facilities, but uh, they're they're saying, hey, we don't have a lot of cases. We can open up and uh, or start to open up, you know, uh, with with reason. And uh, I don't see anything wrong with that. You know, maybe in New York and Los I see Angeles, a lot wrong with that, Phil, yeah. because oh, the right. reason why it hasn't been going up is because they have closed these things down. And the minute they open them up, I'm sorry, you're going to start seeing you're going to start seeing those numbers go precipitously high. Well, the governor of South Dakota, she uh, made a case for for opening up, and and it, and it sounded pretty good to me. The the thing is, I've never been to South Dakota. I'm never going to go to South Dakota. I don't have a problem with them opening up. Yeah, and if they open up, there may not ever be a South Dakota. Look, here's the point I'm making, Phil. The reason a lot of these states have kept it down is because they were not the people who were on the cutting edge of getting this. They weren't in the fi on the firing line. They were on the edges of it. Now, because they've shut down, they've kept this thing from spreading in their states. The minute they open it up, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but the minute they open it up, they are now giving the virus an opportunity to spread. And then they're yes, going to see a larger spread in their states. Yes, what we'll if a few of them get on a plane and come out here? Uh, South Dakota, they don't even know about planes. Hey, you know, uh, I guess we'll see in those four states... Well, you got to make a joke about uh, South Dakota. That's how you. That's your answer to your whole problem. Uh, whether opening up uh, uh, certain businesses are going to make a difference. It, you know, here's four states. You can test and you can see whether or not the cases increase or don't. Yeah. And if they do increase, you shut it down. Somebody has their hand in front of their face, and I can't see who they that's are, Brian. but they have it up. Oh, there it's Brian. It's Brian. Okay, Brian. Uh, not Brian, but Vernon. Vernon. Yes, Vernon. One of the things that Bree said that scares the bejesus out of me is what happens when this starts impacting our food chain it already what happens with like in south sioux falls south dakota the smithfield meat packing plant produced half of the state's <clears throat> coronaviruses in one week yeah. yeah and they had to shut down that meat processing plant 30 miles down the road mm -hmm. in minnesota there's another meat processing meat processing plant mm -hmm. and some of the people who worked at both of those plants drove back and forth mm -hmm. it's 30 miles between them but there were people working at both of those plants mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden yeah they've yeah. got they got uh, massive infections rob sure. Bree, rob has his hand up so i found your uh details phil regarding what pelosi's remarks were they okay. were made on February 24th, mm -hmm. and when, when did we close down everything? Was uh, March 15th or 16th? We closed China. January yeah. 31st, we closed China. When did we close did. here in this country? Where people were uh, – spring training was underway, basketball, and the uh, football, uh, yeah. hockey was Phil. underway. Okay. Okay, a Bay Area. Damn, to begin with, Phil, Phil about, let him March finish. Will you let the, Phil, will you let him finish? Right. So, so will you let spring, him finish? And then you can rebut so him from that point. And really all she was doing was she was being asked about the prejudice going on with Asian American, um, you know, Asian American businesses being boycotted, people staying away. And she said, that's why I went to Chinatown today to show it's not just Asian American businesses. It happens everywhere. If you read, it's a long answer. But the bottom line is she's not she wasn't dissing the coronavirus and what it is she's saying it's not just asian american business you could get it anywhere if you when you read through it's like a three and a half paragraph answer um that's what she was saying okay. not that there's nothing and you shouldn't worry it was about asian american business the question was asked framed around the prejudice in asian american businesses that was cropping up. that's what it was all we had about. two hands up brie was first and then kevin yes brie so I just wanted to let you know, we, this is a message we got 
uh, yesterday night. I, I don't know if it's reversed or if you can see uh, it or we not. We can see it. We can see it. Okay. We can see okay. It. So that's that's the um, that's the English version they send out in their language, mm -hmm. but it they had to send out a message. It says you know the government regularly monitors supply of essentials, generally enough supply. So <clears throat> we're already getting messages like uh, there could be something wrong with the food supply. Generally, there's enough, but that, and that's just now. And <clears throat> I don't see that they're gonna end this. The lockdown is probably gonna continue. They say they're basing it on science here. Uh, <clears throat> so hoard. this is happening. What, the, Bree, what if they hoard? That's, I think, where they're talking about generally. If you just, you know, if you don't hoard, you know, look what you did to toilet paper and uh, and and hand sanitizer. That, was, that hoarding was la was a month ago. But and you know, a hoard. But if they tell you that the food supplies are going to dry up, then or generally uh, it's okay. Then all of a sudden you got people that say, "Oh, like you, hey, generally it's okay. I better go stock up." And and then it's what are you, not what are you trying to say, Phil? Is, You're not making any sense. Uh, well, I'm saying and also, if, Ke if, if, Kevin, at it. I'm telling they, you the order that society's going to collapse. Kevin. Because. Oh. Well, let me go to Kevin here because he had his hand up a while back. Yes, Kevin. Uh, I was just going back on the previous subject. And you may have talked about it, but do, you do know about the first two uh, out here in Santa Clara that they discovered mm -hmm. were yeah. on February 2nd that they found out that were COVID positive, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. those were not even. Those are community. They they didn't. They were not traveled. The second and the sixteenth, I think it was. Yeah, and I think two they, people that they were, did not travel. They, they did not travel to China. Uh, Charlie, Correct. Charlie. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that you talk about opening up and then spreading the disease. There have been at least seven cases of COVID that are directly connected to people in Wisconsin voting. Yes. Because they had to vote in person. At least seven cases where people who went to vote contracted the disease there. Who did they yeah. vote for? Doesn't matter. I, I, I don't understand that because, I mean, people go into Costco, they go into stores. Why can't they? I mean, why is it that the voting is so different? You keep the social distance. What aren't where wasn't Wisconsin set up? Well, with to be distancing? fair about it, to be people in line yeah, and yeah, to be fair about I mean, it, I don't understand. to be fair <laughs> about it, Rob, is that they think they got it there. They do not. They do not know yet. They have not been able to fully investigate uh -huh. it. But that okay. the that number of people who went to that particular precinct came away from that precinct and got ill. Now, whether they already had it when they went there, and if they did, then maybe they spread it to other people. Also, this whole thing about six feet yeah. dis distance is pretty well been refuted because I've seen tests yeah. they've done <laughs> where they can show that a good sneeze can make this thing fly about 25 feet. Am I right, right. There, Brian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's another video out there that shows like a 12-foot sneeze or something like that where they sneeze yeah. and you see how the particles go. Yeah, it's, and yeah. and, and those, yeah. those masks do not protect you really from the particles. What it does, it really protects other people from you. Uh, yeah. and, and hopefully if they're wearing one, you're then protected by them. Uh, so that, that's how that one works. But, you know, these things only, I think, it's so many microns that can get through. Yeah. And uh, if somebody were to sneeze in your face, uh, you're, you're, it's, it's, it's going to penetrate that mask. And the N, uh, by yeah. the way, the N95s aren't much better. Uh, they're just a different mask. I Brian just put on a mask, and I think it's an N95. I have no, an N95. No, no, no. That's, it, that's a surgical mask. Had this. Oh, this mine, the worst mine's one. got like a metal thing on top. It's got yeah. a little breathing apparatus. Uh, do those things work? You know, that looks pretty thin, Brian. That's a, yeah, that's a surgical this, this mask. Is, yeah, this yeah, this is a bad one that we had. We had, and yeah, I grabbed one. This is a really bad one. You can, you have the lighter. You do the test. You have the lighter. Yeah. And you yeah. blow, yeah. and you blow out. And this one, you can blow it well, out. I, I have one off. like that, but I yeah. blew out of it, and it did not put the lighter out. So right. it didn't even. Yeah. It There's didn't a blue even... one we have now that you cannot. Y yeah. But you know, one of the big things also is that that somebody just pushed out that guy Bright, right? The guy Bright. He's the one who said that the that the stuff that Trump was pushing that it wasn't. You know, clinically said that it saved lives, 
And he's one of the top vac- the vac- uh, vaccination or vaccine guys. He was in charge of the vaccine program. And yeah. did you hear what he said him. at the press conference today? Uh, Trump? Oh, he didn't know him. who. They asked him. Didn't know him. Didn't know him. Don't know who. Anything. Exactly. And nobody questioned him about it after that. He yeah. was stormy. Erkwin uh, thing that they were referring to was a, a, a group of 20 people in a vet in a veterans a hospital, and these people were near death anyway. Uh, that uh, and they and they and they died, uh, or many of them died. Yes, they died of cardiac arrest. They died of cardiac arrest, Phil, which is a symptom of dying from this drug. And no Phil, other. did you hear what and I the other said? Study of 800 yes, people. But what they do is they give you an, a cardi- an electric cardiogram to determine, or an EKG, an EKG to determine whether or not you have heart problems in the first place, and you shouldn't take this. Phil, drug. Phil, this okay. drug it is go- it, this drug is not the, it, to begin with. Most tests have shown it doesn't work. Period. Would you it bet? I, I'm on my deathbed. And it, it, look, do you think oil. Brian knows it, more it, than you do, Phil? Do you think Brian knows? Wait a minute. There's no improvement. Yeah. There's yeah. just no improvement. It's like any other drug. It's like any other drug. It has worked on some people, and it doesn't work on other people. And it's probably worked on some, but not more. And the re- that's the whole thing. And and, and if they're going to use it on some people, they can't use it on if it works on if if it only works on a few people, they're not going to work it on most of the population. Yeah. And Phil, you do you, do that. Phil, do you know what it's like you, with, you, my, Phil? with my leg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had an, I had drugs that they used on all kinds of people, but it didn't work on me. So I got numb legs. I use a, I use I used an antibiotic that everybody uses all the time, but they screwed me up. Yeah, so I, it's it, the same it, thing with any drug. There's consequences with any I, drug. I, I think what it you're works talking on about some here, people, but it, yeah. it'll fuck you up. You either live or you die. What you're talking Does about here, Kevin. To make? What you're talking about well, here, Kevin and Phil. Do you know what the word anecdotal means? Yes. What? Uh, it's uh, uh, a, uh, a. It's not exactly what it's supposed to be. No, anecdotal evidence is that yes, you use this and it worked on somebody. But you didn't put, do it in enough controlled circumstances to find out that the person didn't just get well on his own, or that the drug did it, and that's why yes. well, that that's why up until now that drug has been anecdotal. Now they're starting to see proof that it doesn't do anything. Meanwhile, this residivir also is anecdotal, but nobody's died from it. <laughs> has anyone been familiar familiar with the French study that they did? And the fact that they, in France, they used far higher uh, doses of the hydrochloroquine than they than they did in the states. And in in, in a French study, they said it worked. I'm, they I'm, said I'm, that, I, I'll listen. I'll listen to the VA study that just took place. The VA study was only twenty uh, patients, and they were near death anyway. Well, How they're not the now. French now. Huh? Uh, I'm asking if anyone is familiar with the French study because I have a limited uh, knowledge of what And I believe they on. said that two of them didn't. It wasn't that two of them died. It was that two of them died as a result of the drug they gave them. And it wasn't because they were near death anyway? No. Uh-oh. I think there were other people in that study as well who died, but they didn't say they died from I the drug. The percentage of uh, people who died, they did a control group. And the percentage of people who died in the control group was lower than in the group taking the drug. That was on the French on the French study or the no, uh, I think not the the, uh, the other study. The uh, veterans uh, hospital. Yeah. All right, but there was only twenty people in it. that that study. It well, they had a control percent. group. I I think they had twenty and twenty. Twenty people who got a placebo yeah. and twenty people who got the drug and the. Yeah. Uh, the percentage of people who died was higher in the uh, in the, uh, the drug group. Listen, I'd like to hear. I'd like to hear what you what your daughter has to say. She probably has more to say about it than uh, is of value than Phil. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she no, she wants a candy. Of <laughs> she wants. A Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Wish it would all go away yeah. with a candy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bye. Bye. Hey I'm Brian. With my yes. <laughs> Are you importing the candies? Baby, 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 go, 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 yes, go, go, go. 
Oh, what was that, no. Phil? Yeah. Are you hoarding the candies? Am I what? Hoarding, hoarding. The candies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <right> oh. here. <laughs> ah. Ah. By the way, Those speaking kids? speaking of toilet paper, since that is part of the subject, after all, yeah. uh, uh, Marjorie <laughs> went to the store and could buy the only toilet paper they had the first time, which was one ply. Now, one ply should be illegal by law. Okay. All right. <laughs> But then the second time, the only thing she could get was three ply. Have you ever tried three ply? It's, I think Oprah it, has. It's a little too soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's just oh. yeah, yeah. I'm I'm a two ply guy. Okay, plain and simple. Or be worse, you know, oh. if it's two of the same thing and then three of the same thing. Yeah. Don't you get more than three? Yeah. But the bottom line on this whole thing is, uh, you know, we got a real shit show going on here. I mean, this is, uh, uh, in my lifetime, I don't, I've never seen anything like it. And I don't think any of you have seen anything like this in your lifetime. Uh, you know, I mean, we've seen things like 9-11 and we went, wow, we've never seen anything like that in our lifetime. But then this comes along and you go, nothing like this, nothing even close. And worldwide, worldwide, the numbers are just astounding. 9-11... Was localized. This is everywhere. It's worldwide. Yeah, but when you think that worldwide there are 183,336 deaths as of this moment, you got to go. This is you, you, this is horrible. If everybody that dies is attributed to the coronavirus. So you get hit by a car. It was the coronavirus. You no, know? It's not. no, 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 Phil. No, Oh, well, come on. Stop with the bullshit. There's all kinds of people who probably died from it, but never got <laughs> tested, so we don't know. Would have yeah. been interesting if this happened under the under Obama. Or, you, you know, you have somebody like my next-door neighbor who died because of the coronavirus, but not because she got the coronavirus, but because she couldn't seek competent medical help when she went into right. sepsis because all the hospitals were full. And because but the, I remember counted. they called an ambulance in the morning. Mm -hmm. And at 10 o'clock at night, the cops were still out there waiting for the ambulance to show up. But by that time, she was dead. Okay? So, oh, so she the, was dead already? And they were just there? Well, they, uh, they, called, they, they called for the ambulance while she was still alive. Maybe yeah. if under normal circumstances, she could have gotten to the hospital in time for them to save her life. But she didn't. And, and wow. so I have to attribute that to the coronavirus, even though it wouldn't show up in the statistics. Yes, Bree, quickly. Um, in, in Pittsburgh, uh, at the University of Pittsburgh, there was an, uh, a well-known institution called the O, the original hot dog shop. It's been there since at forever, like at least 60 years. It's closed. And they, you know, attributed it to the economics of this of the situation. And... Mm -hmm. You know, for an institution that's been there for 60 years that everybody knew and loved and it's gone, you know, as a result. And I, I just I see that just happening everywhere. But a um, hot dog shop, Bree, could do uh, takeout easily. Why? Why? Uh, yeah, you, know, you would I don't think know. they were they were famous for their O fries and their hot dogs. You can look <laughs> it up. And I just spent countless, you know, nights there, uh, eat, you know surviving eating their food it was cheap and good and when i was an undergrad yeah. for and for it to go out but i think that we're, you know i don't know what the numbers are but we're you're going to definitely see a large percentage of businesses going out because of this and probably restaurants you know will be there yeah and oh a yeah. lot of a lot of major retailers are going to fold also uh, right. we, I don't think we've. I, 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 the theme is playing and i don't think we've heard, have we have you said anything tonight jeff not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Just about dialysis. A business, even when times are good. <laughs> well, then I'm going to thank you first of all, okay? Because you've been very good on tonight's show. Uh, uh, thank you uh, to everybody. And, and let me just go through the people here that were, are here. Hold on a second. Hey, this damn computer lately is just getting to me. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, wait a minute. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come here. I can't, I can't get to the page. I want to see everybody so I can view them. Brian, thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Vernon. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, 
That's pretty good. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. That's our citizens panel, folks. Goodbye. See you later. Okay, there they go. That's them. Okay, sorry, I I have certain problems with my computer reacting to my mouse for a moment there. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Um, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with a little thing he likes to call the intersection. He'll be up next, so if you want to call him, you can be part of the citizen panel. In the meantime, uh, I will uh, be here again tomorrow night. As I always like to say, same, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>